from Studio 206, it's The Adam Izzo Show, starring Adam Izzo. Adam welcomes published author Dr. Richard Carlson and music by Lucky Out. And now, Adam is up! Everybody, season two. Ian, Yo. season two. Here we are, baby, here we are. Yeah. Just a couple of minor differences, but I tell you what, YouTube picked us up. Season one was a great success. I owe it all to you. Well, not all to you, because of course, I am Adam Izzo. I am the host of this show. But you got to tell you something. None of this would happen without your. Oh, uh, the feeling is mutual, Adam. Yeah, I love you too, I, man. We I, did a good job. Yeah, and season uh, this is season two. So I got to tell you some exciting new things are going to be happening. This is our first show of season two, and um, very fortunate to have uh, an exciting band called Lucky House that's here. Uh, Ian, you familiar with Lucky House? No, but I would imagine your mom must be. Well, listen, yeah, she's booking the new uh, talent. You're, you're not over that, are you? I'm just stating the facts, man. Yeah, okay. Cool. Well, we got an author. Did she tell you that? Do you, are you familiar that we have an author of a new book? No, no. Who's this? Yeah, it's author? a self-help book. It's a uh, doctor, uh, one of the doctors, PhD doctor, something like that. But I read his book. It's Five Habits of Something Successful People. You sure it's not Dr. Seuss? No, it's not Dr. Seuss. Listen, enough of this bullshit. Let's, let's move on. We got some exciting uh, energy coming you know, your way. Um, and we'll start in just a few. Be back in two and two. <laughs> Welcome to season two. It's great to have you guys tuning in again to the Adam Izzo Show. And season two is gonna bring just as much fun, if not more fun. Like the, our first episode of season two today, we are very fortunate to have Lucky, Lucky House. And we also have an author of a self-help book which I'm ec ecstatic about. You're, you're aware that he's coming in, right? I, you've told me from the monologue yeah. 15 seconds ago. Right, right. Yeah. And, and you seem pretty ecstatic. Can't wait. Hey, so before we start the, the, this show, you know it's the summertime, and I've been trying to get in shape. So I, you know, I just went to the gym. I want to let people know like what I do at the gym, you know, how I pick it out, what I decide to do. Uh, let's just take a few minutes just to see what you know, summer's going to bring you. This looks like a good facility to work out in. Hey, oh, hey, man. Welcome to the gym. Hey, Adam. Dizzy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm looking for a new place to work out. As you can tell, I'm pretty buff, and I, I need a place that has a lot of weights. Uh, we've got plenty of weights. Yeah, Good you, variety. Can you take me around and free yeah, talk? Yeah, come check it out, man. Oh. <clears throat> right this way. The last gym I went to was, like, a little short on the weights. No, we've got plenty of weights. Yeah? And all kinds of machines, free weights, tons. Yeah, so you've got your, you got your weight equipment over here. Yeah. So if you need to keep your perfect form... Okay. Got that. We've also got your free weights yeah. over here if you're more of an old school lifter. Yeah, well, that's what I like to do. I see you have a lot of plates. That's a good thing. I'm, uh, I'm a legs guy. You see these things, these hams? Yeah. I've been yeah. building these up for years. Do you have a leg machine? Oh, uh, yeah. We actually have a leg press machine right over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I got to go see what's he doing. Oh, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, hey, hey. He's in the middle of a workout. No, 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 but that's no problem. When he knows who I am, this guy loves it. No, no, no. These He's people are unbelievable. Don't, don't interrupt the workout. No, don't worry about it. Look at this guy. 1985 workout over here. Don't insult the man. He's working out. But this is like a 1985 workout, you know? Am I good looking or something? I, I don't know. Do I immune you? 1985 called. They want their workout back. 1985? Yeah, yeah, 1985 workout. Oh, all the heavy weights, all the plates. <laughs> Well, let's see what you can do, tough guy. Don't, you don't read any of the new technology? Let's go, tough guy, see what you've got. All right, well, we, we got to strip the weights. Let's start stripping the weights. This is, this is old school. No one does this heavy plates. Come on. What, what are you doing? Are you going to help us? I want to show them something. All right. This is an educational process you're all going to learn today. This is... Oh, I do all heavy weights. Yeah, sure. Real funny. Real funny. Dude, you do my workout, I'm going to tell you something. It's going to be amazing. All righty, tough guy. Where do you put all these plates? See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at the time wasted. This is... Unbelievable. All right. Now, what we're going to do here is... You got five pounds... 
You guys carry five pound plates? Uh, I think we can find some for you. Yeah, give me two five pound plates. Come on. Gotcha. Okay. There you go. Put one on the other side. On, on the machine. Come on. Oh, okay. So this is how you do it. You put on the two five pound plates. All right, you do a couple of reps. And then this is the workout. Are you going to get changed first? Dude, I do everything in a suit. What are you doing? What, your, 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 your 1985 suit? No. Come on now. Well, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to rip this up. Oh, all right. Let's... Yeah, you're pretty flexible there, tough guy. Relax. Okay. You know Ooh. what? I'm going to call wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to be focused. I'm going to call you suit guy. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you're going to poop yourself, I think. <laughs> Strip it. Strip it. Take the plates. Are you kidding? Oh, that's how you do it. Listen, I'm going to join the gym, man. Thanks a lot. We're going to sign up soon. We're going to work out soon. Ah, I am. Oh, my goddamn man down. Man down. Disengage. Ian, get me an ice pack. Fuck. All right, soup guy. We'll see you. Ah. Uh, uh. That hurts. That one hurts. That's gonna leave a mark. A great skit. Well, let's go on for our first guest of the second season. Ian, we're very fortunate to have the author of You Can Be Happy No Matter What, The Five Principles the Therapist Never Told You. We actually have uh, Richard Carlson. Dr. Richard Carlson, why don't you come on out, Dr. Richard Carlson? Okay. Uh, great to have you. Come on over. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hey, why don't you have a hey, seat? Okay. It's great to have you All here, right, Doc. yeah. Uh, uh, it's just a, it's really a pleasure. Yeah, it feels um, good to be here. Yeah, I just can't believe we uh, secured you to come in here. Um, yeah. Is, I gotta say, the book that you wrote, uh, mm -hmm. You Can Be Happy No Matter What. Yeah. This, this is really important with me in the last couple of months. Yeah, and, I'm uh, so glad that book meant a lot to you. It meant a lot to me. I want you to know, though, I didn't write the book. I read the book. Felt great about it, but it did not write that you, book. You didn't write the book. No. Ian. Okay. Ian. Yeah. Ian. Yeah. I said an author. I said I want the author of this book. I told you it helped me out. Yeah. I want who, the author. who booked the show? You do. No, I don't anymore. Remember, I just stand here and work for you guys now. Remember, Adam? Right. Right. So right, how's right. it going so far? It's not going good. Is that what so you, you just read the book? Your mom uh, called me. Um, we met in a book club, and she's hold like... On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you hold on? Why do you need to stop me? I have things to say. You brought me on this talk show, and you just keep stopping me. But go on, go. You're, it's probably important, yeah. Mom! I said right, not red! Not red! Well, Dr. Carlson, it's good to have you. Um, I'm not Dr. Carlson, by the way. I'm, I don't have a PhD. I actually went just to community college. Um, but, you know, it really, I could talk about the book all day because it changed my life. It really helped me transition from the anger of my past into the positive of my future. And I think, really, I have a positive future. You, you know, one of the parts of the book that I really inspired me that uh -huh. you wrote was, um, uh -huh. we still pursue our goals, but our pursuit doesn't run or ruin our lives. Instead, we can uh, gravitate toward what we want while at the same time enjoying what we already have. Uh huh. Which is a great. And that's what I was going through. Like, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Like, well, that's what I was going through. I feel like you're going through a lot of things right now. Um, maybe you're not understanding. I didn't write that book. It says Dr. Carlson. My name is Mark. You know that. I feel like you know that deep down inside, but you have some sort of delusions right now. Uh, your mom called me. She said, Come talk to my son, Adam. Uh, he has some issues. When you put the sixth question in there, when oh. you said, um, uh -huh. Am I struggling with a problem? Our energy will go where our attention is. Mm -hmm. Can you explain like what your what was your motivation on that? Um, there's a lot of tension right here, so I'm gonna try to work the steps and work through it. There's a lot of tension right here. How about the whole. We'll be right back with Dr. Carlson after this. You gave me the finger. You gave me like the mayonnaise. The fuck are you doing? Mayonnaise. It's the choice of uh, happiness. Would you like some, Doc? No. The choice of I don't know. Doc. It's a feeling food. What is a feeling? Adam, food? what are you, what are you doing? This is new for the season. My, have one. We dip it. You ever dip it? It's, no. it's just a calming food. I've never dipped a pretzel in mayonnaise before. Oh, ever. Well, try it, doctor. I don't want to try it at all. Come on. And I'm uh, not a doctor. Give a little bit. I'm not a doctor. Come on, give a little bit. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a person. Come on, give a little bit. Nope. I don't, Come on. I don't want this shit, Adam. You're putting mayonnaise in my mouth? You call me over to 
I didn't write this book, by the way, okay? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, uh, that was rude. I should sit, um. Uh, uh I didn't know. Mayonnaise. It's a food of choice for when you want to calm and relax at night. Is that... You have a calm, relaxing night over mayonnaise? Is that what you're doing? <clears throat> Doc. Yeah. I want you to know, this isn't, this isn't me. Uh, Richard Carlson is not me. I think you, need, you should put mayonnaise in this book. Why would I put mayonnaise in a book? Because it's Adam. calming, and you need to calm down, man. You've got too much shit going on in yourself. Yeah, I, mean, I have a lot at, of... I have what, a lot what is going on? You're, you're a good best What's going on offer. is I'm wasting my time in this basement where it's hot as balls, and I have dogs chomping at my ankles when I come in here. Uh, uh, Doc. Yeah. Did you write this book because you needed to read the book? I didn't write the book at all. I didn't... Look, I read the book... It was a fantastic book. It helped me get over all my anxiety and all my anger towards the past. It uh, seems like get... you're battling something inside. I'm battling a lot inside right now, but I'm going to keep cool. So I'm just going to, like... Mm. Hey, Adam, they say that a lot of psychologists get into psychology to, like, fix themselves. So you're you're an idiot, too, I guess. Is that the whole situation? Well, I'm no, just... no, no. I'm just saying you should try mayonnaise. It's a calming food. You tell me mayonnaise is going to calm me down from this weird acid trip of a situation. I just think that it should have been put in the book. That's Not, all, okay, book. okay. In this, Will it make your, your best you know what? You know what is in this book? Do you want to know what's in this book? It's pure shit, Adam. It's pure shit. Can I just ask you a question? You can I'm not a doctor. You cannot. Uh, one more question. All right. One more question. What do you want? When's your next book coming out? Well, not, dude. It's great to have Dr. Carlson here finally. Thanks, Dr. Carlson. I do appreciate it. Wait for his um, second book to come out. I'm not, writing, I'm not writing a second book, okay? Just get it through your head. Tell uh, your mom not to call me again. Okay. And I'm not going to come on the show again. Uh, this whole thing is very odd. Um, I know what you're doing. Fuck here. you. And... Is that... What? Is it what? Transfer of energy? Get it off. Get it off. Get all this shit off, hey, man. Yeah, come on. Why? 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 All right, listen, Dr. Okay. Carlson, thanks for okay. coming. Guys, okay. you can check out thanks. his new book at Barnes & Noble. He'll it's be signing book. books this it's Saturday. Book. It's not my book. Well, Ian, that went really well. I don't think he wrote the book. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep the energy going because we got a lot of good stuff going, a lot of positive energy. And you know what? i got to be honest with you. Regardless, I'm still happy. Whether it's five or six or seven principles, I'm still happy. Let's hear Lucky House! Lucky head in a lucky house. Right. Independent. Always running at the start. Had to shield myself, I couldn't let you have my heart. You changed my world, you made all the walls fall down. Finally, you made in my world. Around. My head was lost in the past, in the fears and doubt. But I found my life, I found my lucky Couldn't change myself, I couldn't be someone for them. But you came along and proved I'm perfect as I am. You changed my world, you made all the walls fall down. 
My head was lost in the past in fears and doubts But you are my light, you are my lucky My world had gone crazy and I had to save me I thought I'd do it all my own But then I decided I wouldn't fight it You are my life, you are my home One perfect coupling, one special dove One complete there with you by my side Forever I love you, oh, one above you. I pledge you my world and say this right. Independent, always running at the shot. But today, my love, you forever hold my heart. Ha, ha, ha.